<laughs> All right, folks, now we're inside the Catalina 32 BHDS. Um, just going to show you a few things here. Uh, first of all, we'll start with the bed here. Got a little bit of a more of a pillow top uh, mattress setup. You know, most people when they buy a camper, they put their own mattress in. You know, everybody's different. Uh, but this is a little more comfortable. Well, it's a lot more comfortable than the traditional mattresses they threw in in years past. It is a little bit softer. You don't get that spring in your back like you're accustomed to when you're looking at campers. Um, I'm going to lift this bed up here, get you a look at the storage underneath here. Again, you can see the bow floor, one piece all the way through. Uh, nice wood framing going on there. And then more important, I'm going to push this down. Folks, this right here is marine grade plywood floor. Uh, it, we use it for the bed as well as the floor. Tongue and groove, marine grade, solid plywood. And that's very crucial because most of the competition uses OSB because it's cheaper, but it is heavier. Um, and this does hold about 20% less moisture than OSB. So lighter, more durable products. You know, and that's what you're going to get with a coachman. Again, just like the outside, screwed in cabinets all the way through, fastened to the wall. Um, you're not going to use it for a year and the cabinets rattle off the wall. Basically is what that boils down to. Stapled or glued you know take your pick there um, tons of storage just kind of give you a shot of that over the bed storage there nice hanging wardrobe over here lights coachman is full of lights all the campers one light two light let's see one two three four lights in the bedroom alone um, plus a roof vent for natural light Speakers, two speakers in the bedroom. I'll show you this TV system is pretty neat. You're in here with the family. You watch a movie. It's time to go to bed. Kids go back to the bunks. Spin this around. Now you can watch your favorite TV shows. You know, um, depletes the whole point of having to have two TVs. Very economical. Works great locks in place it's got a DVD player on board um, AM FM stereo <clears throat> you got all your your hookups out of the way there another little place uh, be a good place to store movies and different things that you like to do when you're camping good place for a nice little movie collection in your camper um, I want to hit on this again because it's crucial, the marine grade tongue and groove plywood floor. I mean, it's, it's a solid floor. When you come in, you don't get the creaks and the cracks that you get in, in a lot of campers that you'll visit. Uh, so that's very crucial. Little silverware drawer there. Look at all the storage up under here. There's the caps for your, for your wheels still in the packages. You got, uh, you can put pots and pans and different things in here. You know, I challenge you, when you're out looking, shopping for the camper for your family, open that up. That means a lot. I mean, you know, take a frying pan, a couple pots, you can put them away here. You'll be surprised at the campers that won't allow you to do that. Um, like I say, tons of drawers. There's three drawers right there on that side alone. Good, another good look at the thermal countertops. Gives you a nice, complete finish. Um, this camper does have the oven in it. As well as microwaves. Those come with their own little separate warranties. You get one year from Coachman, the microwave and the oven will have an additional year, uh, as well as a refrigerator. This refrigerator here, not a bad size at all. One of the cool things that they've done this year is they've changed it to where you can adjust your setting here, one through five, or you, you'd have to slide the thing on the the tab on the condenser previously previous years to adjust your temperature um, I like to refer to residential when I'm talking about Catalina and the reason I do heat comes out of the floor ducted heat out of the floor totally opposite for the air airs ducted out of the ceiling on a camper over 25 feet 24 feet or bigger it's a must to have ducted AC um, 
ducted AC distributes air evenly throughout the coach. It's not hot on one side and cool on the other. So the ducted air in this coach is essential. Um, and if you look up in the ducts there, you'll see the aluminum wrap. You know, that's something you need to look for. That's a health issue. Uh, mold and mildew can build up if it's exposed to our foam and does not have that wrap. Um, because you do have condensation in those in those AC lines, especially uh, in those AC vents, especially when you're camping South Georgia, 100 degree weather in the summer, um, running that AC, you're going to get moisture buildup in there, and it's just a, it's just a matter of time without that aluminum wrap that you're going to have mold buildup in your in your AC uh, ducts. So let's talk about the furniture a little bit. Nice high to bed sofa. You don't see this typically in a camper like this, you know, in the Catalina. But I mean, it's just, it's a nice extra place to sleep. Folds out in seconds. Usually you'll get the old jackknife sofa. Well, why not just throw in a full bed right here? You got a full bed, sleeping adult. You also have the dinette booth over here, the J lounge, so everybody can eat together and you can still sleep an adult on that, on that uh, bed being that you got bunks in the back already. Just folds in half there. Let's see here. Oh, here we go. Real simple to make up and put up. I mean, that's what it's all about. Keeping it simple. It's not a hassle if it just takes a couple seconds. You got the nice shades here. They're not quite day. They're not day and night shades. Just over time, we've we've noticed you know multiple malfunctions with day and night. You got too many strings working. You got too many shades. You got two shades to keep up instead of one. So here you got your privacy basically, and then you got your natural natural light option. I mean, one hand, two seconds. Storage, more storage. Some in the slide right there. Open up some of this over here so you can get a good look at what we're showing you. Well, you can kind of picture it. Nice pantry right here. As well as over the sink storage. I mean, that's... You can put everything you need in there. Um, all of our campers come equipped with smoke detectors, propane detectors, uh, as well as fire extinguishers. Uh, just safety, you know, safety precautions. Every camper's got to have those three essential items to be effective. Um, coming back this way, you got your heat and AC going on there. More storage. I mean, an extra hanging closet, you know, for the kids' stuff that they'll hang up. Back here is where this other slide comes in handy. By sliding this out, it gives you more floor space. So now you have the option of sleeping one to two here, one here. You can put an air mattress down here to sleep another two or one. And then you've got this bunk area. So, I mean, easily this coach could sleep maximum two, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten folks. Very easily. More storage. Put away those folding clothes. Plenty of room for that. Got a ladder. You'd be surprised at the campers that you find that don't offer you a ladder. You know, coachman thinks above and beyond. You can use the ladder, take the ladder up, and move the ladder out of the way. Um, see, so we'll go back out front here and end our presentation. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, we're looking forward to seeing you here. We'd like to show you this this model as well as some others, depending on your tow vehicle. Um, it's very crucial that you you have a professional show you around, show you the differences. That way you know the value, you know what you're getting for your money, and you're properly set up between your tow vehicle and the camper of your choice. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, you can reach us on the web on the web page at uh, www.midstaterv.com. Um, or give us a call and schedule an appointment to come in and see us. Family atmosphere, friendly environment, you know. Uh, we'd, like to, we'd like to be your dealership, so give us a call. Thanks.